Hey everybody, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing good. If not, if I can cheer you up, please distract you. Okay, so we have the Sega Saturn steering wheel and uh, so it's got buttons on the left and right, okay, and start button in the middle. Now what they did here was they separated what would normally be on a gamepad, except the difference is this is normal here, you know, from left to right. ABC but over here it's the opposite because they figure you might get used to it a lot easier um, right to left okay X Y Z okay A B C X Y Z I don't know why they did that because people are normally used to doing things the regular way so um, I understand that they want it to be symmetrical and uh, they figured you might want that too but I think they were wrong I think they should have kept it the way um, we normally use things, okay? Anyway, so I noticed um, certain games, I just use this button here, this button here, accelerate and brakes, okay? Uh, that was probably Daytona USA, but the games vary, so this might confuse you a little bit, but I, you can get used to it. Um, just spend more time on that one game that you're having difficulty with, and you get used to it. So, one thing that's for sure, you're gonna know this is XYZ okay so that's cool that's all you got to worry about then there's um, the start button of course in the middle and the buttons how do they feel they feel very nice as expected from the Sega products okay and then we got the shift up and down it goes up and goes back into place same thing with the other side goes back into place which one is which I don't know okay and it might depend on the game I don't know so and there's a good chance of that okay I'll talk about the the base and what what it's standing on later I think it's handmade by the way all right by a, uh, uh, someone that knows how to uh, I forgot what that's called um, anyway I will get to that anyhow so here's the back well let me show you the side first beautiful thing to me it's almost a work of art so I believe this goes up and down I'm not sure there might be a way to do that as, as you can see a little clunky but once you got it in place no problem I don't like it there it's locked and I think that actually activates the suction in the bottom too for the table Let's put it back where it was Put that back and then there's the other side should be the same pretty much except flipped right sorry about all the tape and the dust nothing pretty about that let's go all the way around because of the wire and there's the back all right so it says unlock here and lock here it's mainly about the steering wheel right okay but they might do something for the suction in the bottom too I'm not sure. Um, that's something that I have to look up. Uh, well, yeah, well, it's something that could be looked up. That's for sure. Um, do you put this thing together yourself? Good question. I saw this here and it turns. It turns and. Ah, this is new to me. And I had to show that off. How far out do you want it? How far in do you want it? I like it all the way in. Here's position number two. I'm gonna call it. Well, actually, yeah, this is position number three, I think. You can lock it there. You know? But to me, that's two, and that's one. See, I'm learning as I'm showing you. I'm observant, and I can figure these things out. Anyhow, so I wanna talk about the rest of it, but let me give you a close up look first. The rest of it has nothing to do with the steering wheel. It's something I found. And someone that knows how to work with metal, I know that. Really cool. Hope you guys are enjoying the music. It's from F1 Challenge, which is good for the steering wheel. Okay, or well the steering wheel is good for the F1 challenge. Also for Manx TT and um, 
I don't like using the steering wheel for uh, Daytona USA. I've tried it, I, I'm okay with it, but I'm more better with, with the uh, controller. I mean, I'm better with the controller. So let me show you this thing. Uh, it's got a welder put together, I think. I'm pretty sure of it. I could tell by the weldings, okay? So you, I've stood on this thing, well made. Look at the bottom of it. I know it's dusty. I apologize for that. It needs a spray paint. Actually, no, it doesn't. Just a little wipe down. Not much either. So I'm kept pretty well, considering the time that's been sitting there. Now let me show you something pretty cool. The angle from here. So this person had an eye for this. Well, the steering wheel is getting in the way. Yeah, the steering wheel is getting in the way. I can't show you that view. Looks like it's gonna fall off. It might. Let me stop. Okay, that's it. That's enough of that. Anyway, that's the steering wheel, uh, Sega Saturn steering wheel. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Just uh, making an adjustment here. And uh, now let me show you how I work with this because the tape is not working. It's working a little bit, but not too much. This is how I use it. I'm gonna come around with this here. I'm gonna hang this back up for now. And uh, yeah, let me show you this end of it. Let me show you this. Basically like a Sega controller. And this, that's what this is. A Sega gamepad controller almost. Works the same way. Come around. And what I do, so I plug this in. Well, not now, but I plug this in. And I push it against my table. I put my legs on it. it against the table put my legs on it there you go now I've got more control over it because of the table and my legs and I'm cool with it like that I'm more I'm still easy on it I'm still easy on it okay but um and you have to be careful when you're steering with this thing because you might oversteer or understeer um, you might go too far to the left or might not go enough to the left or the right you know whichever way you're going once you get into it, you get smooth. Learning to relax is important, um, and knowing the steering. And it takes, a, it takes a while to learn. I suggest Manx TT to learn how to steer. Um, it's not easy, but you get used to it after a while. It's got some precision. It's got an, enough precision to get you by. It's not like other steering wheels at all. Um, it's uh, a little more older than that, and the, the handling is older as well. Uh, that's the best way I can put it. It's not as good as other steering wheels in the market today. Okay, it's um, gonna take some practice. Seems a little more, not as smooth, not as smooth, but still smooth enough to get you by, like I said. Anyways, thanks a lot. That's, this has been a review of the uh, Sega Saturn steering wheel. Take care, everybody. Please like, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if you feel like it. If you're feeling me, if you're feeling this, I understand. Um, took me a while to get it, and um, I really appreciate it now that I have it. And I'll be showing you some stuff soon. Probably Manx TT first. Take care.